On today's episode, I'm going to chat to you about discovery calls and how they can not only elevate your business, but also give great value to your potential clients. Discovery calls are certainly nothing new in business, and this method has been perfected by many in all types of industries. So let's unpack this great topic together with a few key takeaways that I've learned on my journey, both as a business owner and a consumer. Hello and welcome to BizNation, your home for micro and small business help. Join us as we unpack all the pain points in starting or running your small business. If you're looking for support in business, join us on Facebook, Micro and Small Business Support Group. Your host, Kerry Zarb, brings you discussions, interviews, and many hints and tips to get you all set in your business. So sit back and enjoy as we launch into today's episode. So what is a discovery call? A discovery call is the opportunity to connect with potential clients to discuss their needs and see how you can help them. It's a great service delivery that businesses offer complimentary to build personal relationships. These calls or even a virtual meeting option will be more powerful than just emailing your database list as it helps us build trust with our future clients. Even if they're not ready for our service now, they may be in the future. So for anyone offering a service type business, it's highly recommended to offer a discovery call. I've recently added a discovery call booking option to my website and I'm super excited to be able to connect with potential clients or anyone wanting help in their small business. I personally try to do as much of my website work myself as I possibly can. I also have the backup of a great developer that works with me and helps me when I get stuck on my website. But working with web developers can be difficult and sometimes the DIY spaces can also be a little bit tricky. This is something we hope to explore and discover together in a future episode. My website is built on WordPress and after some research and hints and tips from my developer, I decided to install a plugin called Appointment Hour Booking. This plugin is available free to add to your WordPress website And as I've spent a lot of time working on my website myself, I found this plugin to be super easy to use and very easy to set up. And also it just had a short code to plug into my pages. But if you're not sure how to do this, I highly recommend getting help. Navigating through website options, especially in WordPress, for those that are not familiar, can be really daunting and it's super easy to break something. If you're running with a website other than WordPress, do some Google research into the options they present. It's a very common application and most website hosters will have something available, although it might come with a small price tag. The main reason I wanted to have discovery call options on my website was not only to have somewhere to send people to book in, but also a seamless option that saves so much emailing backwards and forwards to try and make a time together. If you're anything like me, with many people popping up on social media messages and emails, to have an easy link to share saves heaps of time. It also gives you another professional approach to your business, again, building more trust. But I've found it actually gets more genuine leads coming through to me. And because I love helping people, I would never, ever not have this in my business again. So what goes into a discovery call? From your call scheduling application, you now have the caller in your database. Ensuring those touch points bring value is super important. Don't forget the discovery calls don't replace your email marketing. It actually enhances this as having connected with your potential clients means they read your email and they feel like you're talking to them instead of the masses. Another important part of the discovery call process is to make sure that you offer times that are 100% free in your schedule. Having a great booking system for your discovery calls is awesome, but if you need to reschedule because you double book yourself, it won't have a great look for your business. This of course excludes those absolute emergency situations and if these happen, you just need to be open and honest with your discovery caller. 
So it's better to have less time options available than too many. Business life is super hectic and the last thing you want is to try and look busy and popular with too many time options. Not to mention that sometimes having too many options can be confusing for your potential client. The old saying, sometimes less is more, can apply to your discovery call schedule. If you don't already know from a form fill, ask your discovery call client questions and work with them on these pain points. Remember your caller has connected with you for a reason and give them plenty of opportunity to talk to you and begin unpacking their issues. And remember this, it's not a sleazy sales call. It's a chance to connect and assist. From my experience as a consumer, the last thing I want to hear about unless I ask, is all about their business offerings. This would turn me off instantly if the call became all about them and not about me. Having a sales pitch in the call can work, but only if you're asked. So make sure you prepare for this, but try not to make it the focus. Don't forget the purpose is to build the trust and rapport you want at this early stage of building a relationship. Depending on how the conversation has transpired, you can ask if they would like you to send them further information via email. This is a great opportunity to deliver some value on the back of the call, so having some free content ready is a great idea. If you are sending them information about your products and services, it's also good to either schedule another call or at least have a chat about touching base again, giving them time to digest but not too long as you don't want the lead to go cold. Work out a plan together and if they're not keen, at least pencil an estimate of when you'll get back to them to touch base. So some key takeaways are, discovery calls are great for service-based businesses. If you can't automate the booking system yourself, get some help. Don't turn it into a sales call all about you. Have a sales pitch ready but don't make this the focus. Remember that you're giving your time to help someone and this builds great relationships. It will build trust and also help you be front of mind, if not for now, then certainly for the future. Wishing everyone an amazing week ahead. Thank you for listening and we hope this or other episodes have helped someone in their small business. If you're not already a member of our community, you can find us in a few places. Facebook, Micro and Small Business Support Group. And remember, you're not alone. With support, business can be so much easier. You can find us at biznation.com.au where you can sign up for a free business directory listing. If you're looking for other free resources, we also host a YouTube channel and have many articles on our website that will help you on your business journey. Thanks for listening, and I'll catch you at the next episode. Thanks for tuning in to the Biz Nation podcast, your home for small business help. If you're looking for support in business, join us on Facebook, Micro and Small Business Support Group. You can find the link on our website, biznation.com.au. Tune into future episodes for more discussions, interviews, and many hints and tips to get you all set in your business. Until next time, stay safe, stay well.